Namaste everyone. I am Jalil Dolakia. I am at Health Shorts and I'm going to show you some very easy and effective techniques in which you can manage your travel anxiety. So let's get started and see a few postures which you can do on your own. You can make your breath your best friend in all your travels. Whenever you feel anxious or worried or just overwhelmed, come back to your breath and do this mindful conscious breathing. So for that take your right palm, place on your chest and take your left hand, place it on the abdomen. You could be seated anywhere, on the bed, in your car, anywhere, doesn't matter. Keep your spine straight. Let's have these two hands positioned like this. Close your eyes and just start taking deep breaths. Now when you inhale, you want to feel your stomach lifting and also your chest lifting. Let's do this a few rounds together. Inhale, allow the belly and your chest to lift up. Exhale, allow it to release down. Remember you are doing nostril breathing only. Let's take a few more breaths together. Inhaling, fully expand your chest and your belly together. And exhaling, allow it to slowly contract. One last round. Take one deep inhale. Allow your entire torso to be filled with air. And slowly exhale it all out. One of my favorite postures whenever I travel is to do the Sukta Virasana or the supported child's pose. So for that you can grab hold of a pillow that you may easily find in your hotel room and come into Vajrasana. So I'm going to grab hold of my bolster. Any kind of pillow is alright. Come into this Vajrasana, keep your knees wide and take a pillow, pull it closer to you. Now you can put a pile of two or three pillows just to feel more comfortable. I'm using one right now here. See that your knees are comfortable and see that your ankles are also supported. And from here, take one deep inhale. And exhaling, allow your chest to fold on the pillows. You can turn your neck to any one side and close your eyes and just be very comfortable here. Your entire body weight is resting on the pillow. And just allow the body to fully relax here, fully release over here. This is a great posture to do. After a long day of travel, when you come back to your hotel room, this is something that you can definitely do before sleeping. Stay here for a few breaths. And then remember to turn your neck to the opposite side after a few breaths. And then slowly use your hands and come up. You can stay here for 2 minutes, 5 minutes if you have the time and this feels so good. The next posture that we are going to do is called the Uttanasana or the standing forward bend. It's a very very releasing posture, a posture which allows you to let go. So for that, come at the center of your mat or wherever you are in your room and stand with your feet hip width apart, get your hands on your waist. Inhale, open up the chest and exhale, allow your spine to fold over and keep your shoulders, neck very relaxed. Now, you can keep your knees bent to be more comfortable and then with your hands, interlace your elbows and just allow your upper body to hang very freely. Keep your neck very loose, check in with your neck that it's nice and open and loose. There should be no pressure on your back, your, keep your knees bent and just stay here for a few breaths. Close your eyes and then whenever you want to come out of the posture, round your back. Release your hands, keep your back rounded and chin tucked in and very slowly come up 
to center. This will really help to calm the nervous system and ease out all that anxiety. The last posture that I'm going to show you is called the Viprit Karni or Leg Up the Wall Pose. Whenever we end up traveling, at least I end up doing a lot of walking. So after a day full of exploring a new place, walking around, I love doing this pose. It's so good. It's a treat for your legs. So I will shift myself close to the wall. And then with support, I will put my legs up and lie down flat on my back. So do this slowly, carefully. And try and go as closer as you can to the wall. Your back should be flat, your hips should be down and your legs are nice enough. Your hands can be on your belly, they could be on the side, wherever you feel comfortable. And just stay here for a good 5 minutes. You can also keep your knees a little bent. So, no pressure on the legs, just in a very very relaxed manner. And whenever you want to release the pose, bend your knees, roll over to one side, take support of your hand and sit down. I hope you enjoyed practicing with me and you will do this in your travels and benefit from it. If you want to see more of such yoga videos, please do follow, like, share, help shots. This is me, Janandula Kya, telling you thank you so much.